can't read. Hello, kids. It's time for Hi. Monster Chiller Horror Theater. Ooh, we have very scary movie for you tonight. Get your 3D glasses on and uh, ooh, ooh, it's coming right at you in, in 3D. I'm sorry. I had, I had, I had to because we had, we lost Joe Flaherty this year, and that, that when the minute I heard that, it clicked in my head that I had to do Count Floyd because it was such a part of my. It was, it was my youth. Se Second City TV was part of it. But you also, do you remember the Dan Night. Grimley show? No, you don't remember the Ed Grimley show. Oh wait, yes, I do. Yeah, the only part of the Ed Grimley show that was remotely bearable was when Joe Flaherty did the Count Floyd bit. That was the best part of the whole show. The whole rest of it was like, what the yeah. f*** is Martin Short doing? What the hell is this? Tootsie So. A lot of people don't get my costume. They don't Because you've costume. not been watching Agatha all along. Yeah, you need to. Well, okay. You, you, it, it is spoilers, though. But, you know. It is a spoiler if you're not caught up. But, listen. You just get caught up. That's all. I could not not take advantage of this hair. Right. I mean, it's perfect. It is. It is right. Perfect. I mean, I didn't dye it black, but that's that. That's a bit much. It's been through enough. What's that coming to go? Yeah, exactly. What is it, what is it Charlie? Do you have things so to say? So if you don't get my costume, um, I'm not going to tell you what it is because then you will yell at me about spoilers. And I am ruining it with the reading lessons because I am, in fact, old. Me too, because you know, like I, that's why I had, that's why I just to to try to incorporate it. I got these, and I was like, "Hey, I can yeah. do the bit with these." I can't do the bit with these. I tried. It's not. It's, it's not. It's not going to work. But that's okay. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call "What the <laughs> is Wrong with You." And I guess you could call this a Halloween esque ish kind of stretching it here, kind of stretching it story. To start us off, um, this comes to us from Colombia. And uh, you think we, you think of the mafia and you think of, of organized crime as these very careful motherfuckers who are like, you know, they got to stir the sauce. I was looking at the helicopter, you know, get, get the, and now we got to take the drugs and get over. The, you think they had got all the shit down, right? Which is, that was a terrible example, actually, because that was from Goodfellas, and that was when he was already busted. But anyway, you think they got all their shit together, right? The thing is, about the mafia, is they're just like you and me. Um, they, uh, they enjoy their stupid selfies, too. Mafia cocaine trafficker arrested after posing by Escobar's grave. Why the fuck did he take a selfie wearing an Irish jersey? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my you. God. An Italian mafia fugitive who served as an inter intermediary with Colombian drug gangs has been arrested after almost four years on the run in South, a South America. Luigi Belvedere, one of the uh, Italian, one of Italy's most wanted men, was tracked down in the city of Medellin, where a famous Luigi uh, Belvedere. Luigi Belvedere. Okay. I know. Where if it is drug lord Pablo Escobar's cartel was based. Italian police re released an image of Belvedere posing behind beside Escobar's tomb when they announced his arrest. Uh, they they they, 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 they pat, there's a lot of word count padding going on here. But I found yeah. another article that kind of pointed out exactly how stupid this got. According to Italian police, Belvedere was tracked down through intelligence gathering that included data obtained from a popular messaging platform. Authorities allege Belvedere acts as an intermediary between Colombian drug cartels and Italy's uh, Camorra crime syndicate. The Italian uh, Interior Ministry reported that Belvedere uh, specialized in brokering cocaine shipments between Colombia and Europe. Now, I'm willing to bet that the popular messaging platform was Telegram or or Telegraph or whatever it is. Um, and it's the yeah, one that's WhatsApp supposed to is anonymous, be, right? Supposedly. And so Telegram is supposed to be 
encrypted, but it's not that encrypted. And they just, because they feel like, oh, it's encrypted, I'm safe, they just spew all the shit. So you know bro was in the chat rooms like, check out my selfie. You know what I'm going to say, right? What? I mean, first of all, I'm pissed off that this asshole's wearing an Ireland jersey. <laughs> Second, I'm pissed off that he, he got arrested and not eaten by one of Pablo <laughs> Escobar's hippos. That's all you know about Pablo Escobar. That's your favorite part about Pablo Escobar. That's all there is to know about Pablo Escobar. No, no, no. It, it's much worse to know about Pablo Escobar. He was out of his mind and so dumb. You've got to watch Narcs. Because it's... It, it, Does it it's, have the hippos in it? Yes, briefly. Yes, He's got his zoo. It, it's it's the story of Pablo Escobar. It, it's some. Is there like in, a whole episode about the hippos? No. Then what's the point? Um, what's his name is in it? Uh, from The Mandalorian and The Last of Us. Pedro Pascal? Oh, he's in it, yeah. Pedro Pascal is in it. It's right, where maybe. he got his... It's where he got his big start was, was, was in Narcos. It was... So, like, why would you not make it about the hippos? It's the most interesting thing about the guy. No, he's, it's really wild, the stupid shit he got into. Like, he thought he could get elected president, and then he agreed well, hey, to go. you know? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> he was really just ahead of his time, wasn't he? <laughs> I mean, I mean, God, I wish it was actually funny anyway. So, yeah, huh, you got your ass busted because you were bragging to your to your bros on the interwebs about getting a, a selfie done with Pablo Escobar's grave. What the fuck? And not bro? even and to not even do the meme of Grant Gustin. Yeah, doing the yeah, not even like if you're gonna take a picture at a grave, at least do the grand dusting. <laughs> and you know the people back that his his superiors back in Italy were like, he did what? The no 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 the motherfucker did what? I mean, you know, every family's got a Fredo. <laughs> he was the dumb one, right? I've never seen those movies. He was the dumb one. He was the dumb one. I mean, everybody called, called me. Everybody calls Donnie Jr. that, so I assume he's the dumb one. He's part. Of, part of me said, thinks you should, but on the other hand, nah. I mean, they're okay, but you know. At this point, it's more interesting to me to piss off men by being able to say I haven't seen them. And I you, love you that they made that a joke in the Barbie movie. I mean, you can see it and then just lie about it. It's still funny. Yeah, it's true. I mean, Pacino's fun. Pacino's, you gotta, you gotta admit, Pacino. Are you guys watching The Godfather? <laughs> uh, all right, next up, we're going to Canada, eh? And um, hmm. this is kind of, I, I cannot recall a time in my life I have ever been this fucked up. This is kind of amazing. <laughs> Like this is there are there are legendary drunk runs and and there are legendary and this is um Vermont man charged with drunk driving in Ottawa Valley thought he was still in the US Ontario provincial police charged a Vermont man who is alleged to have illegally crossed the border into Canada and thought he was still in the United States uh Ottawa uh Police say that, pardon me, uh, they responded to reports of a truck being struck at a drive through in Cobden, Ontario. The vehicle, vehicle had flat tires and a Vermont license plate. After attending the scene and locating the driver, police say the driver didn't know where he was and told officers he thought he was still in the United States. Police learned the driver had allegedly failed to stop at the border and there were grounds for his arrest the man was also found to be impaired. Uh, please say. Like, I know the northern border isn't really as strict as the southern border, but there is like a border. 
Like, it's not like when you cross a state line, there's just a sign that says, welcome to New Jersey. No, no, no. There is a there's a, like a guard post and a gate. And they, that's probably why his tires were flat was he ran over the, the, the strips that the, yeah. the, um, the 50s year old man from Milton, Vermont, uh, was charged with operation while paired with alcohol and drugs. Uh, in a statement, the Canada Border, Canada, Canada, Canada Border Service Agency confirmed a vehicle failed to stop at the Prescott Port of Entry. Uh, they said it charged a Milton, Vermont resident with willfully evading compliance with the Customs Act and contravening the Immigration, Immigration and Refugee Protection Act. The man was released and scheduled to appear in court in December 17th. Man, imagine you have you got so drunk and fucked up so bad, you have a court date in another goddamn country. Yeah. That's, that's, that you're not good. I mean, how do you top that? Justin Trudeau is somewhere like they're not sending their best. (laughs) (laughs) How in the fuck? How in the entire fuck? I mean, like, I know Vermont is not an exciting state. No. Most of New England, if we're being honest, is not terribly exciting. All right. Someone's pointing this out. I'm going to find the distance between the two. All right. There's Cobden, Ontario. Uh, The map. And the directions to uh, from uh, Vermont. Let's see. And uh, no, that's all. No, no, folks, there's wrong. The wrong Ottawa Valley. This one was only five hours. It was still five. Wait, wow, well, wait, only five hours. Holy shit. He drove five he hours. Five, he got five hours into Canada. He got, five got, hours in, he got five hours into Canada with flat I know, tires. I know they call the cops their Mounties, but they do have cars, right? Like, they're not literally chasing him down on mooseback, right? (laughs) We're going to get letters. Oh, hey, what are you saying? Hey, you think we all ride around on the moose, eh? We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't ride on a moose, eh? You was her? Sorry. (laughs) 500, 300 goddamn miles. I love oh I love I love this part. This route has tolls. <laughs> so flat tires went through the yep. tolls. Yep. Didn't run out of gas. He had a full tank. Either that or he's got like a hybrid. Those are really efficient. Those those are, those yeah. are pretty good. Those are very efficient. Yeah. That'll get you a long way. <laughs> Son of a bitch. What the fuck happened? Five hours is a long time to stay drunk. I'm going to put that point that out too. Also, yes. They, he's blood alcohol was sky high when they found him. His How blood alcohol he- was alcohol. <laughs> Ain't no blood left. Man's running on Jim Beam now. <laughs> I mean, the, the guy's spit was flammable. Jesus. Oh, my God. That's amazing. That is that is actually kind of impressive. I am I am now impressed. I mean, yeah. A little. How did no, yeah, people are like, how did no one fucking stop this guy? I know. What happened here? I think Canada needs to be a little embarrassed right now. I'm just saying. Or the Canadian Border Patrol was like, man, let's just see what happens. <laughs> let's just let this shit play out. Uh, well, speaking of, let's just see what happens. Um, there is nothing quite so so poignant as two property owners with a dispute. Mm-hmm. Nothing quite so inflamed, nothing quite so legendary in its own way. Um, this is from Colorado Springs. Actually, I don't know if you've heard about this one or not. Um, Mm -hmm. So there's a tattoo parlor, tattoo and piercing parlor, that 
the apartment building next door, which is a high-rise five-story apartment building, um, they share a parking area. Well, the parking, the apartment place has been towing their customers. Now, there are lots of ways to handle this, but uh, the, uh, the, the, the tattoo shop owner had a very, uh, a, point, a, a perfect way, in my, in my opinion, of handling this. Um, with a giant dick mural. I did not hear about this. Parking disputes aren't out of the no, out of the normal, but the reaction from a Colorado business owner is gaining attention while sparking some controversy. Uh, David Brown, the owner of Falling Hero, Fallen Heroes and Tattoo and Piercing, says the parking issues with a neighborhood apartment complex started several months ago. His business is located just east of Old Colorado City in Colorado Springs. Right next to Brown's business is a five-story apartment complex. The parking situation isn't ideal for the new complex or Brown's business, which it, with just a small lot behind multiple businesses and a few street spots off Colorado Avenue. There's an alley between the two buildings, but the parking spots right up to the west side of the Falling Hero building belong to the apartment complex and are permit parking only. There are signs on the apartment complex side saying the lot is private parking with permits only. However, there aren't any signs on the Fallen Heroes building. Employees say they don't want to hang signs over a pre-existing mural that advertises their shop. Brown claims that over the course of four months, 30 to 40 of his customers had their vehicles towed. In response, Brown has added a massive mural to his roof that includes a painted male genitalia. Quote, the new apartment complex just opened up next door to the shop. They've been towing all our customers' vehicles. We tried to play fair, but now we'll fight back with a dick mural. That is a quote. But you didn't play fair because you didn't want to hang the signs. That's, yeah, that's, that's... You didn't alert your customers that they weren't allowed to park there. So I this mean, is, is all is, your yeah. fault. Hmm. That is true. And like, I get you don't you you have a mural, you don't want to fuck it up. I don't know if you know this. There are signs that can go in the ground. What? No. Like literally, bro, this is all your fault. Several of the residents of the apartment complex say they unfortunately can't miss the mural. Quote, it is disturbing when resident hey, Palmer. <laughs> you know, you can't go to a bar or a restaurant. That's what I'm drinking. You can't order an Arnold Palmer anymore. That's ruined now. Yeah, Thanks. That's Thanks fucking... for that, because I like live on fucking Arnold Palmer's. And that sounds like a whole different statement now. Like just like iced tea and lemonade. Uh, according to Colorado law, the towing company that represents the apartment complex is following the rules since the lot in question requires parking permits. Uh, representatives of the property management company for the apartment complex said they didn't have much to comment about the parking situation. They're working with a code enforcement at the city to address the matter. Colorado Springs Police Department said the mural is not considered graffiti because the building's owner approved it. So now everybody who lives in the apartment on that side of the building... Let me look out the mirror. There's just Peace. so much here. Like, first of all, like, yes, I know Colorado Springs is home to a lot of military bases, but yeah. Fallen Heroes tattoo and piercing. Even if the guy who owns it is a veteran, he's yeah. not a fallen hero because he's alive. True. Fallen hero doesn't mean you you you, you trip over something. It, it right. Means you, you didn't come back. So you're already like you're already kind of doing a mm. shitty thing to try and get business. Yeah. Then, I mean, you're in Colorado Springs, so I'm going to go ahead and assume you're a Republican. Mm. You don't want to hang the no parking signs, so you fuck over your own customer base. And then, when you have fucked over your own customer base, you throw a big fucking baby fit about it and draw a dick on your own roof. Sir, like men will really do anything but therapy. <laughs> Imagine how much work it took to climb up on the fucking roof and draw a gigantic penis. Dude, on you, your this own is the kind of, roof. 
no, this is the kind of person who has no one around him that'd be like, um, maybe don't do that. Maybe do something else. Like, I don't know. Like that much spray paint or whatever, whatever they made it with. They don't show the, the entire mural, obviously. With all There's that a, spray paint, you could have made a sign telling your customers not to park there. Or even if you really felt like you had a case, I'm pretty sure that was like a couple hundred dollars worth of spray paint because that ain't cheap. It's like 10 bucks a can. You could have got a got hired, you know, had a consulted a lawyer. That's that's a retainer right there. A couple hundred bucks. Yeah. Well, yes, but again, he's in the wrong. Well, true, but you could have tried something. You, you know what you could have done something. buying that paint is found a way to incorporate a no parking sign into your precious mural. Dumbass. Uh, no, no, Tara. We we don't solve our, our differences with, with uh with words. We solve them with giant penises. That's that is that is the method of 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 that is the time honored the American con, way. That's the conflict resolution that our our species has used since time immemorial. Giant penises. Speaking and look where it's fucking gotten us. Yeah. Speaking of giant penises, um, oh god. No, not like that. Just this is a a metaphorical giant penis. Um. Typically, when you're the principal of a high school. Oh, God. <laughs> you, you don't have many things that are like giant glaring red lines you should not cross. But and even I have a lot, actually. Well, yeah, but OK. Well, some of them are like you'd think self-evident, but there are some big ones. You, this line you do not cross. And I am not an educational professional, but it seems to me that one of the big no-nos is um, assisting your high school students with beer bong rips. Oh. Video shows Scott High School principal holding beer bong for underage students. The teens were at uh, Scott and Simon Kenton High School students. Taylor Mills, Kentucky. Scott High School principal has been charged with police after police say they received video showing him holding a beer bong for two underage students at a New Year's Eve party. Kent County Police Department said 50-year-old, 50-year-old. Like, if you were sitting there for a thing, second thing, like, well, maybe he's like, you know, late 20s, early 30s, trying to... Why 50. are you at a teenage New Year's Eve party? 50-year-old? 50 year old Anthony, 50 year old Anthony Procaccino was the uh, principal of White's Tower Elementary at the time of the video. Procaccino could be so, seen holding up a beer bong as two students drink. Oh, he's the president it. of the elementary school. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Students were identified as Scott and Simon Kenton High School students between the ages of 16 and 17. Police said the parents of the two students have been contacted. Procaccino is charged with two counts of aiding or assisting in serving minors alcohol. Um, Procaccino uh, was principal at, White, at White's Tower for 10 years before becoming principal at Scott High School. Uh, so, like... First of all, why are... Really, why are you at the high school New Year's Eve party when you are 50? Maybe he's thinking, you know, I'll grease the wheels. I'm just taking the job. I'm the new principal. I'll get in good. You know, something like gross. that's that. It, I'm not. It's not. It's not. It's not gross. working for me either. No, yeah, gross. Super yeah. gross. Yeah, this is just it. What? What the? What the fuck? What in the entire fuck? And it's not like I, I. I think I guess you're new to a high school. Like you came from from the elementary school, but why does the idea of give? Oh, they're high school students; they can have the beer, right? I don't know. What are high school? What are they like? They like they like beer and 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 the marijuana. Is that was that what the high schoolers like? I don't know. I, I'm not up. I'm not up down with the kids. I'm not hip. 
Is it like the substitute teacher where they're like, oh, no, no, the, the, the other principal lets us drink all the time. It's, it's, it's normal. You can ask him when he comes back. I want to know what he was doing with the elementary school student. You have a Peggy or a Dottie upstaging you right now. Oh, go back there. Hey, Dottie, you're on the internet. What? Look at her, she's like, the fuck I am. You are, you're on, you're on the internet. She's, she's doing the glowy eye things, which is, you know, that's kind of perfect for Halloween, so. Everybody can see you. She's very <laughs> mad now. Just what... And you just got the job too. That's the that's the, right? on video. How did you not? That there are so many questions here that How you're like, I uh, are you it'll blow an over. educator? You're not. Apparently, you don't learn very well. Like it's like this, to even be a teacher, you need a master's degree. Well, you used to. Yeah. We've abuse teachers to the point where we will beg anyone off the street and this is what fucking happens i'm i you're not filming me right now right you're not filming me right now i'm trusting you you're uh, filming me, you have uh, to tell me right if you're a cop you have to tell me uh mr procaccino we're 16 ah uh, but if you're a cop i saw jump street i know how this works Oh, uh, we got, we're still, there's, st I, I can't believe we still have two more. I also just want to say, because this is a thing that comes up on TikTok a lot, where like a, uh -huh. a lot of women my age are very upset when teenagers say things like skinny jeans aren't cool anymore or side parts aren't cool. You have women my age who are like, oh my God, you could pry my skinny jeans out of my cold dead hands. And it's like, no one's making them illegal. Yeah. They're just saying that that is not what's trendy for young people. Yeah, You could still wear them. It just it points out that you are a 40 year old, which you fucking are. And I don't know about all y'all, but when I was a teenager, the grown ups that like desperately wanted to be cool to teenagers were not cool. They were no. creepy as fuck. Yeah. The, the, like even in the best case scenario, when they were trying to like rap with the kids, when they were like trying to be real with them to, to be like, to, to, like the to new thing everyone's mad about is apparently ankle socks and no show socks are out of style. Okay. And that like marks you as a millennial. Everyone's like, but I love my ankle. So fucking wear your ankle socks. I still wear my ankle socks. You know why? Cause I'm fucking old. It's fine. But everyone will have opinions about me. No well, fucking well. All right. I can't believe we still have two more stories. Um, Thank God Grady's here. Here's Grady. Can you hear him? Grady. Can you hear that? I can't. Oh, my God. You know what? People are like, why can I hear the alerts? It's because I never put my headphone in tonight. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> That's why you're hearing every time he messages me. Sorry about that. Shit. What are you doing? What are you doing? I can at least do it before the next bit. All right. So next up, this is from Sudbury. I we Sudbury got a lot of, Yeah, we got a lot of really fucked up people this week. Good God. Are, are you helping there, Grady? Grady? He's he's not help. He's he's good he's job, Grady. Right in my face. Um my God. The, 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 I, I guess this would qualify as rock bottom. Elliot Lakeman found dancing and urinating inside minivan. Driver 49 had crack, fentanyl, rum, and beer in vehicle. Deadpool? <laughs> Was it a Honda Odyssey? <laughs> An Elliot Lake driver who relieved himself on his steering wheel after treating to a police to a display of dance moves faces multiple charges. 
East Algoma police said they fielded a complaint Thursday around 5.30 a.m. You're not helping, buddy. Uh, of a man who was slumped in the driver's seat of a blue minivan with the motor running. Police attended and tried to speak to the man, but he was dancing to music inside the minivan and ignoring police. He then proceeded to urinate all over the steering wheel and driver's seat Can area. Can I just point out that the police, whatever it stands for, is called the OPP? OPP. Yeah, you know me. The man continued to be uncooperative, uh, but eventually entry was gained and the man safely arrested. In his possession was suspected fentanyl, crack cocaine, and crack pipes. There was also an open bottle of beer, uh, rum, and both empty and full inside the van. Well, that's why I had to pee. You know, that goes right through you. Um, Kevin Mickelson, 49, from Elliott Lake, was charged with impaired driving uh, over 80 MGS. What a fucking week for Canada, huh? Driving with pot readily available in possession of hard drugs, uh, the accused was uh, scheduled to appear before the Ontario Court of Justice uh, in Blind River on Thursday. Okay. But there's no alcohol left in Canada. Sorry, everybody. It's all gone. Two guys it's all drink gone. it all. It's like... Just, is, is this like some animals as a defense mechanism, like toads and stuff, they pee on you? Is that how this works? Was this like, if, if I pee all over it, you won't arrest me, right? I got peed on by a yard turtle once. Yeah, that's how they That's how they do. There's like uh, it's, our it's, little it's, house it's, in New Jersey. We had a little box turtle that moved into our, our yard and she hated us. Yeah. And I picked her up one day to move her away from danger and she peed on me. Yeah, that's that, that's how it's also they, I they learned that turtles can hiss because she would hiss at us. Yeah, yeah they, I didn't know turtles could hiss. It's very yeah. upsetting. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, this is like, it, it, I guess the thinking is if I'm covered in urine, they won't touch me. No, they will. They just won't be happy about it, which kind of makes it worse. Yeah. And also I, just, I don't. Like, I understand that it's hyperbole the way that the media s- makes it sound like being in a room with a drop of fentanyl can kill you. Yeah. But it's uh, but it's pretty fucking serious stuff. It's it's not fucking. Yeah, you can't like touch somebody. And be, oh, no, I'm overdosing. But no, if you actually right. ingest it, you can get fucked up. But you're on fentanyl crack. That's uppers and liquor, downers at the same and time. And beer. So that that is fentanyl. Big old downer. Up. Crack. Big down, old up. Right. Yeah. Up. And so then booze. Down. And booze. You're down again. You're on the roller coaster, my friend. Why? What are you doing? I can't, if I had that much money, I wouldn't be spending it on drugs. Like, I used to drink a little every now and again, have a six pack in the fridge. Now it's like, uh, who can afford it? Who can afford it these days? Well, this guy I mean, apparently. Like, I spend some of my money on edibles. I like an edible. Yeah. But like an edible. Hey, Tara. Hey, Tara. Yeah. Guess what? Guess what? It's, it's, it's Canada again, eh? Man, what a charged. week for Canada! What a what a bad week for Canada! Oh my! I know. Man charged after attempting to force his way into the House of Commons. Okay. On the tenth anniversary of the shooting on Parliament Hill, a man was arrested and charged with trespassing as he attempted to push past security guards into the House of Commons. Um. CTV news journalists witnessed the man who identified himself as Brian Kidder carrying a black duffel bag as he pushed against three parliamentary protective service officers. Uh, PPS is the uh, amalgamated security force charged with protecting the space on Parliament Hill. Security court force was created in the wake of the shooting a decade ago after multiple requests wait, to leave. Wait. They didn't have a dedicated parliamentary police force until the shooting? Yeah. Canada. Yeah. Y'all are just trusting, huh? <laughs> After multiple requests to leave, 
After multiple requests to leave, CTV news journalists saw one officer arrest the man for trespassing and put him in handcuffs. The man in his 60s was subsequently charged. In an emailed statement to CTV News, the PPS said the individual attempted to enter an entry point reserved to access card holders. Um, a Facebook page belonging to someone named Brian Kidder shows a live stream of the event leading up to the arrest. It shows the man walking up to the Parliament building calling it, quote, House of Evil. In the video, as he walks up the stairs to gain access to Parliament, he is asked by officers stationed there if he has a pass. The man tells them he does not, but claims he has a special invite. So you have a magic pass. You have a because I said so. Man is told he can't go in there, to which he responds, why not? It's a public place. Video online shows Kidder attempting in recent years to make a citizen's arrest of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau outside his Rideau cottage home and another uh, outside another building in the parliamentary precinct. Video shows police stopping those attempts. And another Here's video from thing, 2020. Bro. Yeah, yeah. You know it's not a public place. Yeah. Because you said you had a special invite. Yeah. You like, fucking moron. They, they try to be all like, you know, I can, if I say magic words, I'll fuck you up and you can't do anything about it. That's how this works. Because you have to apply the rules. I don't have to obey the rules. Wait, why am I being arrested? No, you're not that smart, dipshit. You haven't found that one weird trick that doctors hate. Like, goddamn. Like, another video, Kidder threatens to perform a citizen's arrest of NDP leader uh, Jagmeet Sin. Sin. Is that Sin? I'm, I'm, I'm getting Yagmeet. Am I saying Grady. this wrong, Lord? Grady, you're not helping. Your, your feet is just all tail at the moment. Yeah, I know. I know. You're not helping. <laughs> Wait, this is the third time he's attempted to arrest people in the government as a citizen's arrest. It didn't work the first three times. What makes you think number four is going to be the charm? Unearned white man confidence. That's what. God. Yeah, there's the pic. Look at that. Look at that. He's got the, he's got the hat. I'm an old, he's got the glasses. I'm an old white man wearing Oakleys. I can do whatever I want. That, why is it they all have the sunglasses with that reflective tint on it? Right? Why is well, it they, they all have that shit? Lens crafters. When I worked at Lens Crafters, if somebody specifically asked us for Oakleys and it was not because they were in the military, we already knew they were going to yeah. fucking suck. Yeah. yeah. So just be aware if you're wearing Oakleys and they're not for a specific sport or because you're in the military, everybody thinks you're an asshole. They're basically like a big sign that says asshole. Just. The, the fucking nards on your ass to try to wander into Parliament and be like, I'm a fuck with things. It's my day. You can't stop me. <laughs> no, we can fucking stop you. It's like it's like that sovereign citizen shit. They think they have magic words. They, they, they right. Have, oh, like, I don't it's, I don't I don't have to listen to you. Why not? Because I said so. It's like you trick no. me. It's like you trick McPiddlick to saying his name backwards and going back to the fifth dimension. No, that's not how it works. I don't know what that means, but okay. It's, super, it's, it's Superman. Yeah. Oh, okay. A little guy in a little purple hat, purple bowler, and, and the, the orange, and the fifth dimensional imp who bothers Superman and can only get rid of him by tricking him into saying his name backwards. I know you saw Super Friends when you were a child. Not really, actually. Oh, my God. My sister watched a lot of the, a lot of the Linda Carter Wonder Woman, but. Oh, my God. How do you, Oh, my God. It's... My parents were not pop culture people. <laughs> so I, I guess. I'm overcorrecting I, as an adult. I guess the first thing we we learned this week is um is that uh, just because you say you can do a thing does not mean you get to do a thing. That's that's it's it's you know I appreciate that the hustle, sir, but uh, 
it don't work like that. Mm-hmm. See, other people have agency. I don't know if you were aware of that. They, 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 they can stop you. Increasingly um, in general, I feel like people are not aware of that, that other people are like humans. Yeah. We have learned that dancing in your car and pissing on yourself is not a good way to keep from being arrested, especially if you're full of drugs. Doesn't really sound like a good time either. Does not. That's, that's, that's like, that's, that's, that's like that, that bit from Saved by the Bell. I'm so excited. I'm so, I'm so scared. That's, that's what and that yet, is. That's, yeah. No urine in that scene. No urine in that scene. Um, she didn't get body learned, fluids on her until she did Showgirls. We've learned just because you want to be their principal doesn't mean you can give them the alcohol. That's. No. Um, we have learned that resolving legal issues and, and property disputes with giant dicks rarely works out well for anyone involved. Uh, we have learned you can get so drunk. You can drive from Vermont 300 miles into Canada and no one will stop you until you end up at a fucking drive through. Yeah, they'll just let you. Well, stop, eh? <laughs> and finally, and we're like, no, if you give in to the tantrum, <laughs> he's just doing it for attention. We all have to ignore him. And finally, we have learned that uh, the organized criminals are just like us. They like their selfies. They like their social media. And it gets them arrested. You're still pissed about the jersey. I'm so pissed about the jersey. 